Ivan Rogers decided to leave now so that a successor could be in place ahead of the official triggering of the exit talk set for the end of March. British preparations for its divorce from the EU after the June referendum have not been smooth and the sudden departure of the top diplomat is set to add to that as our London correspondent Benedict Pavio explains. Ultimately, who steers the ship is the woman governing the country, uh, Theresa May. The second person who will be governing the Brexit ship is indeed uh, David Davis, the Brexit uh, minister. But of course, Boris Johnson has his word to say in that as a foreign secretary. Uh, the ultimate boss, as I said, is uh, Mrs May. But whoever becomes that UK ambassador to the EU uh, will be very important. And as I said, the Brexiteers are very pleased at Sir Ivan's going. He was due to quit in November, so this resignation uh, is sudden. Apparently, he reflected over Christmas. But that memo leaked by the BBC before Christmas, uh, where Sir Ivan said confidentially, uh, initially, uh, that it would take 10 years for the UK to negotiate a deal uh, with the EU and for its departure, of course, uh, was really severely criticised, and he was viewed by those same Brexiteers as a pessimist. On the contrary, uh, seen very much by Remainers, let's remember the country is very divided, 48% voted in favour of that Remain. They lost, of course, uh, think that this is a very sad day indeed.